So today I'm going to be doing my fall skincare and body routine, night routine, all in one. It's fall, y'all. So like, why not start the fall off with a good night routine? You know what I'm saying? It's like nine o'clock at night, and I'm over here cooking some grits on the stove. So I'm about to get this video started popping and started so yeah make sure you like comment and subscribe and tell me what other videos you want to see down below and y'all as i'm thinking i should have did my routine tomorrow but because i get my wax done tomorrow and all that good stuff but i was like why procrastinate i guess but um i don't know so I'm gonna start by just tying my hair up, put on my scarf when just to keep my hair out the way. And y'all I like to start off by going ahead and putting my nair on my legs because I'm getting all the hair off of my body but I went off okay I want the nair off I mean want the hair off my body okay so and we're gonna be doing a little face cleaning up or whatever plucking some chin hairs and getting this hair off my face because it's not cute <laughs> I'm gonna take my nair face cream and I'm applying it with Q-tip because this shit stinks. So, and I'm putting it on my face. I'm only putting it on my lip. So, they say it takes a long time for it to start working. So, okay so i'm done with this part so i'm gonna start putting it on my legs
talk about some of the products that i'm using so that listerine is like really really good and it's affordable and it does not burn my mouth and i really actually really really like it but yeah so i was i reached this through my mouth for about like two to three minutes and i proceed to like washing my face while i'm swishing it around just so i can make sure i got everything you know all that gunk in between your teeth all around out of my mouth and y'all i've been using the panoxyl face wash and i really really like it so far so good i haven't had any problems with it um as far as the excess drying i have really really bad oily skin so i have not experienced the excess drying um and i it says to use this for two to five minutes if i'm not mistaken or two to three minutes one or the other so I always just, I either let it sit on my face for two to three minutes or I'll massage it on my face for two to three minutes. So, 
that's what I'm doing in this clip here. Let me know what y'all think about Pinoxyl if you use it. So y'all, I have been using towels, paper towels to dry my, dry my face because as from watching um, Skincare by Hiram, um, I was seeing that, you know, sometimes towels can cause bacteria and more acne to form. So I was like, let me start using, you know, paper towels and see if I see a difference as far as like my cheeks breaking out and stuff. And so far, I do see a difference with that. And y'all, so I've been using this different gel. If you watch my previous videos, I used to use tretinoin. Um, I wasn't sure if I could use tretinoin since I changed my cleanser. Um, I still don't know if I can use them together, but uh, I've been using the different gel. And it's not as strong as tretinoin, but I really want to go back to using tretinoin, but I don't know if I can use that with Pinoxyl. I don't know if I can mix tretinoin and benzoyl peroxide together because both of them are so strong. I don't want to damage my skin. I just want to fix it and stop the bacteria that's causing acne. As you know, that is my favorite moisturizer. I probably would never, ever, ever change it. I love it. It's just so lightweight. I just love it. Like, I love it. And I come across products and so rarely do i say i love them but i love that moisturizer i don't even know what i would do if they didn't have any more um i've been using the a and d ointment on my skin after i get my eyebrows um cleaned up or threaded or waxed whichever one but I put it on my face because I did remove some peach fuzz off of my top lip. And it to help it not get so aggravated and irritated, I always just go in with A&D ointment. It's just a skin protector that you use on babies. So I just used it on my lip and my cuts from where I got my eyebrows waxed and my skin lifted. Uh, just a little tad bit. Um... So, yeah. So, for my girlies that have gained weight, what are y'all doing about these stretch marks? They're tearing my ass. Mm, they're tearing my booty up, okay, y'all? They're on my boobs and they're on my butt and my thighs, okay, y'all? I don't know what to do, but every day I feel like I see new ones and. For some reason, I know when they're forming because they start itching really bad and I can't take it, y'all. Like, I know that I'm eating more and I'm gaining more and I feel like I'm gaining it too fast. So my body is like can't catch up, I'm guessing. So it's like stretching. It's losing elasticity, as my doctor says. So I've been trying to moisturize, moisturize, exfoliate as much as possible because... Yes, I love the stretch marks, but y'all, yeah, that bio oil is very, very expensive, okay? Okay, it's it might not be expensive to some people because y'all got it like that, but y'all, it's expensive for me. I've been using the Dove Zero, I think it's 0% aluminum deodorant or something like that, but um, I often switch deodorants. I don't really have a, like, a Pacific kind that I use all the time, but I just be trying new stuff, like... Why not try new things? You know what I'm saying? And of course, the Dove lotion. I'm one of them girlies that don't really care for 
um, what you would call it, like, perfume smell lotions and stuff, like, the most I probably would use is EOS lotion and Dove lotion. I'm just not her, like, I don't really care for, like, the smell good lotions because I get tired of smells and they start to make my hair hurt, like, certain perfumes and stuff make my hair hurt. So I'm just a simple girly, like, it gets no more simple than me. So y'all, I'm just about to light my vanilla candle. I like to light this before bed because it smells so, 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 so good. It just smells like vanilla. Like, why wouldn't you want your house to smell like cupcakes or something? You know what I'm saying? And don't be talking about how I got it so close to my TV. I ended up moving it up. I just wanted to just show y'all where I usually have it at. And y'all, it'll be late at night and... I decided that, you know, every night I'm going to read a scripture out of my Bible so I can learn my Bible more. So this is what I do before bed, before getting comfy under my sheets. I go ahead and read my scripture and then I just go to bed like, yeah. So make sure you like, comment and subscribe and let me know what other videos you want to see down below. And yeah, we're going to get right. Bye, babes. I've been all in my phone, I got options And I don't wanna tell you to drop it But I don't wanna play your